Hi friends, my name is Fawn and I'm an artist living and working in Thomaston, Georgia. And here is the uh, work area of my studio gallery um, storefront in the downtown area. Today I wanted to do a video of like all the sketchbooks I'm working on. So it's kind of like a sketchbook tour slash um, everything I'm working on right now. Personally, I love looking at sketchbook tours and seeing how other people work out their ideas and their sketchbooks. And I thought that I would show some of my process and show all of the sketchbooks that I'm working on at the moment. Sometimes I work in one and then go off to another one and then work on another one. And then sometimes I have a theme to one and then I want to try out another one and then I don't know so I'm pretty scattered as an artist but I like to keep everything nice and tidy too so there's a little <laughs> I don't know that's the artist life for me right you can see this whole stack it's everything I'm working on at the moment one of my goals this year is to finish all of these. Some of them will be easier because they have less pages and some of them will take the entire rest of the year. So let's get to work and let me show you what I've got. I'm going to start off with the two smaller sketchbooks and they each have a theme and I worked on that theme and then lost interest and then started working on another sketchbook that's how it goes. This one. Well, both of these are watercolor sketchbooks from Arteza. They are 3 by 5 inches by 5 by 5, so about the size of an index card. But it opens out to a really nice landscape. So I can kind of see this as like a travel sketchbook. But with this one, I used it as, well, I wanted to draw some of my favorite things. And some of my favorite things are stickers. So I have that one right there. And then these two in the back. I'll probably fit more as I come across them. I've been drawing some of my favorite things. Like my watercolors and some of my tools. And started drawing all the little cat statues that I have. And writing a little story about them. Another little cat. And this jar, I really like jars, I guess. <laughs> but I was using that one a lot for a while. And then this owl statue that once belonged to my grandfather. One of the best gifts I've ever gotten. Is my little, is it a little Nintendo Switch? I can't remember the name, of course, but I love that thing. I pretty much play Animal Crossing all the time. And then, as you can see, lost interest. Moved on, but I do plan on coming back to this. This is one of my favorite pencil sharpeners. It's actually right here. It is a Coom automatic long point. Has two holes. Has the Blackwing logo on it. But uh, this is one of my favorite. I have several of these like around the studio. It's it's a favorite, of course. And then this sketchbook is um, same size, same brand. And in this one, I decided that I was going to draw, well, chickens. And I think I might change it up and just do maybe birds in this one. But um, I had come across a Pinterest board of 100 chickens, and I thought that I would do the 100 chicken challenge. I guess um, this was maybe at the end of 2020, you know, where I was kind of bored, sitting at home. And I'm um, trying to come up with some ideas. I always come back to birds. Um, they're fun to draw. And there's a big variety of them. Especially chickens. Sketch them out. Use pen and marker and watercolor. But this one's really fun. I might have to come back to it. Well, I will come back to it eventually. Because I do plan on finishing all of these this year. But I numbered... All the pages kind of like planning ahead but um, yeah I'll get back to the chicken notebook one day look these are in love this is another Arteza sketchbook 
it is a square format. It's eight and a half by eight and a half. I do love a square format. Um, let me get this out of the way. And I have themed this one faces. So I thought that I would practice faces in my sketchbook this year. And I will hopefully finish it. I think, if I counted right, this one is, let's see, 100 pages. So I was thinking I could get at least 50 good face drawings in here. Um, once again, stickers. And I started testing out some of the supplies that I have on one side and then working on the portrait on the other. This is Jim James from My Morning Jacket. Fiona Apple. Henry Rollins. So it's almost a um, celebrity face practice sketchbook. And then <laughs> you can see I stopped drawing in it. I will come back to it. I promise. Um, but yeah, it is 100 pages. I was thinking that I would do 100 portraits, but then I started testing out supplies on this side. So maybe I will just finish it. I'll just make that the goal is to just finish it. So if you know of any interesting faces that I should draw, please leave them down below. I haven't looked at this one in a long time. I'm actually pretty proud of these drawings so far. It's going to look good when it's done. More stickers in the back. The weight on this paper is um, 180 GSM so it can hold watercolor pretty well but it does it does wrinkle up so that's okay though. Now this is my travel sketchbook I hope to finish it this year and then do a nice sketchbook tour of it but this is what I take with me when I get to travel and have some time to draw. So, stickers everywhere, of course. And I started off drawing things around me, like close by, and then went on up to North Alabama. This is five and a half by eight and eight and a quarter, I believe, and it's sixty pages. Thicker paper because it is watercolor paper. It is 200 GSM. And uh, like I said, I hope to finish it this year. So that means I have to do a bit more traveling. I did draw my studio, so I didn't really have to go far for that. Let's just do a real quick flip through. Some of these are unfinished. I need to go back and do some highlights on this one. Um, but I've been working. You know, i got to finish that one. But it's a pretty good start. Okay. And for some reason I skipped this spread. Not sure why. Okay, so I've got some catching up to do on that one. And um, I did this which is my travel palette, so I can tell which colors I'm using. Um, and here's another travel palette that I've been using. So I can just tell what they look like when they're dry. And more stickers. But this one is the same size, almost the same size, as the Stillman and Burn sketchbooks. But maybe a little bit smaller. But I do like the landscape part of it. It's real nice. I like it. I have filled up one of these before and I've done a sketchbook tour on it. So I'll do a little doodad up here so you can click on that and watch it later. So apparently I have a thing for Arteza sketchbooks. And you know what? I think I'm going to adjust my tripod here. Give me a second. Here we go. I believe this is better. Let me Move that, and that. There we go. Clean space. This is an Arteza sketchbook, 8 by 11 and a half inches, so it's the size of a piece of paper. 
It is 100 pages. Of course, stickers in the back cover, stickers in the front. And I thought that I would do an intro page here and then didn't finish it. And I've been working on some Skillshare classes and I'm just really trying to practice as much as I can and testing out all the supplies that I have. I decided to draw all of the shark teeth that my husband has collected over the years and um, he has so many. So I drew all these and then drew some more. Um, one day in order to procrastinate from packing for my trip to Michigan I decided to draw everything instead. More shark teeth, trying to draw more while doing everyday things and I'm working in here on this page from still here still life um, just practicing still life from photos and on this day I guess it was September 22nd um, Elvira was in the news a lot and I was like I should probably draw her and so I did um, this was something pretty cute. I just wanted to draw something cute, I guess, on that day. And then not draw anything else on this paper. And then another Still Here, Still Life. You can find them on Instagram. So I'll put up a link or a, yeah, a link down below. And then, as you can see, I still have to finish it. Which I will, I promise, I will. There we go. Now this lovely sketchbook is a Strathmore hardcover mixed media art journal. It's five and a half by eight and a half. And the pages are 190 GSM, so a bit thicker than what I've been working with. I wanted to try a hardcover sketchbook just to see if I would like it. Um, I've tried the, the soft cover ones and they're pretty cool. But I wanted to maybe try something a bit more serious. Um, but this one's theme is ink only, so um, I kind of, I've done ink and watercolor just because the paper is a bit thicker, but see, started off with stickers, started off with a nice quote. Um, the first page is thinner than the rest, um, but still, you can draw, you can still draw on it, it's fine. Um, I've been trying to date everything just so I can keep track of my progress. Another still here, still life. Um, this one I decided to draw some of the cats that are around my house in my neighborhood. And then I did a, um, what is this, hourly comic day. I did that, spent all day doing it, and um, scanned it, and you can see all of them on my Patreon. But uh, this was really fun, and I think I should do it more often. And then uh, skipped a page. Another still here, still life. And then um, still working on it. But I like to carry this one around in my bag because it fits in the bag pretty well. And it holds up to being tossed around. Um, but over Christmas, holidays, I did bring it along with me. And my kid was bored and they, they ended up drawing on the back a couple pages. So... So proud of their work. They're so good. And of course, stickers on the back. But um, I'm pretty excited about seeing this full. There's the back. You can kind of see how it gets scuffed. So, um, you know, it's kind of a bummer. But, you know, you can't be too precious with these things. This all just practice. Here's the next one. This is a Stillman and Burn sketchbook. The Delta series. You can kind of see that on the back there. Another hardback sketchbook. Um, the same exact size as the other one. It is 52 pages, so less pages than the other one. And 270 GSM is the weight of the paper, so really, really thick, nice paper. Um, this is the off-white colored paper. Um, I thought that I would Gosh, I know I just said that I was not going to be so precious with it, but I thought that this one I would try a little harder with the sketchbook. 
and um so of course stickers and I thought I'd do more more fully realized images so here's a bird <laughs> like I said I always go back to birds another one and um and I told myself this year I was not going to do any challenges I just want to relax and work on my art and uh, well that went out the window when I decided to do a hundred days of doing something so I guess the hundred day challenge um, I decided to work on my sketchbook every day for a hundred days so I got seven days in decided to take a break for the weekend and um, so you know I guess I'm not good with challenges but I am good with color because look at that, that's pretty banging. Birds, like always, nice little toucan. This is a, I was looking at desert animals and really like this little dude. So I really just kind of look at references online and um, try to funk it up a little bit. So This is a nice two page spread. And a lot of this is color pencil and watercolor and ink, so I'm just kind of exploring all of the mediums. And the paper does hold up pretty well, but it is it is kind of hard to close, and um, it does get wrinkly, but that's fine. Um, but it does kind of sit open like that almost all the time. Um, you see the stickers on the back do I have? Yes, there we go. Nice stickers. Um, but yeah, this one's a bit more precious. Um, but I really like it. Now this Big Daddy is the biggest sketchbook I've ever worked in. It is the gigantic moleskin, or moleskin. I think we, everybody who does a moleskin tour is like moleskin, more moleskin. What are we saying? Um, moleskin, big sketchbook, hardcover, it's A3 size, 11 by... 16 ish give or take it is 96 pages 160 gsm so probably the thinnest paper that i've used so far and stickers of course testing out some of the supplies here and then i've decided to try out different things um this is acrylic gouache on here and it's held up really well colored pencil and ink and I just I really enjoy working so big it's really nice since it's thinner paper the marker it does bleed through but I'm thinking I'll probably go back and maybe put some paint on this paint something here um, but colored pencil very nice another still life from somebody I follow on Instagram Nice big fish thinking about pizza. Who knows why I draw the things that I do. Still here, still life right here. Decided to draw a cat. So I guess still life, cats, birds, flowers. Those are usually my go-tos when trying to think of something to draw. Oh, a giraffe. Wow. I've forgotten what I've drawn in here. This looked like it was really fun. I'm pretty sure it was. Lots of big movement here. And then, well, we have some work to do, guys. And then, stickers back here. This has a nice little pocket, which I don't have anything in. But, um, but I'm looking forward to working in this one again. And I told myself that I would not get any more supplies, nothing this year. However, I didn't consider people giving me gifts. Um, a friend of mine, Luke, decided to give me a sketchbook for a gift exchange. <laughs> and so here's another sketchbook, but I have not taken it out of the plastic. It is five and a half by eight and a half ish, 120 pages, 65 pound paper. So it's probably pretty thin you know just thinking about the uh, oh that's not GSM that's pounds so um, 
I don't know. I do like drawing on brown paper. So this one will be really interesting when I decide to open it up. This is something to look forward to. So um, I'll set this one aside and um, come back to it hopefully soon. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed looking through all these, these lovely babies. And um, thanks for making it all the way to the end. I appreciate you. Thanks for following. If you um, have clicked that subscribe button, if you haven't, please consider doing so. I do a lot of um, studio vlogs. I do some travel vlogs. If you have made it this far, please post in the comments a link to your favorite sketchbook tour. Or if you have filmed one, link that down below and I'll watch it. Um, like I said, I do enjoy sketchbook tours. Probably my favorite thing to watch on YouTube. So thank you guys. I appreciate you and I'll see you next time. Bye.